Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got my updated Trap Brigade build for you guys featuring Phoenix Enforcer. Um, this guy is absolutely insane, especially with Celestial. Uh, being that we play a Trap deck, um, likely the only thing you're going to have is a thing that you searched off Nerval, uh, off of your Revolt, so you can just Normal Summon. You likely drew a trap, a spell trap, so you can just set it, draw two, and then you're good. Uh, but yeah, this deck, a lot of fun. Uh, this engine overall adds so much, and I'm super excited to show it off to you guys. Uh, and yeah, before I get started, make sure to check out Red Dragon, my sponsors, and use the Moose YGO10 to get 10% off your order on Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed products. Anyways, let's get into this. Let's go. Alright, so... Trap grades, 11, standard, don't play more, don't play less. Next, a bit more trap grades, but that's not the same thing. So we got 3 cat, and then we got the 2 destiny heroes, with the 3 fusion destiny. Uh, engine is absolutely insane. If you draw an extra one, you can just put it at the back, of the, uh, back on the bottom of the deck. And yeah, it's just really nice. Next, we got three droplet because we're still trying to break boards if we go second game one. Uh, I also don't play hand traps as you probably tell. So I'm just trying to break your board, make my board. I don't really care to OTK. We are playing Tri Brigade, so it's incredibly hard to do it in this deck. Um, we'll turn one anyways if they have literally anything. So three droplet, we get their board, pitch a Nerval, and it's just, this card is very free. Um, Two talents. Uh, I'd love to play three, but this deck is already 42 cards because of the engine. Finding space for five cards was basically impossible, to be honest. So I, w I had to cut this down to two. Uh, everything else is basically essential, in my opinion, uh, from my experience with this deck. This was really good a lot of times, but every other card was like just too good to remove so I don't want to cut like more than one obviously so two was it's been working fine for me like I see it when I need it two prosperity something else I cut down to two Phoenix of Force is just good man <laughs> what can I say uh, one tanky uh, tanky foolish reborn call by got the power one of all really really good Next, we got the traps, so we got three revolt, three IDP, three strike, two TT, and then one IO. Uh, every single one of these is super high impact. This is a two for one, this is revolt, strike is just broken. Torrential is a board wipe, and order is order. Not much to say there, to be honest with you. Next, we got the extra deck, so we're going to start with the Phoenix Enforcer with the Verte. Uh, insane. So free to make this. Uh, it's just, you need to make sure you have Revolt first. Revolt is always going to be your main priority, but if you already have it in hand, don't make Bear Brum. Just straight up go for this with like a fair sheet, so at least you still get a draw. Um, and you can still put like a piece back to the bottom before you activate Verte, which is always really nice. Uh, link one, we got Almirage, he's standard. Uh, we got two Fergit. Uh, it was at, th I was playing it at three because I'm playing Prosperity, but since I had to cut some stuff for this, it is now down to two. Two Bear Brum. Uh, the second one does come up a lot, especially because we are playing more of a trap deck. You want to get to that second revolt if possible. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, double Dragon Lords, super, super nice to have him. Uh, if you, this is another thing you can do with the extra Fusion Destiny. You just send it from hand, bounce a card, and I mean you're really not losing much. Uh, one Silver, standard. Uh, one Doom Eagle, really good. Uh, three Omen, uh, three comes up a lot. Uh, I don't think I would cut this down. And then we got the Appalooza access code. You're starting and you're ending. So that's the extra deck. 
last but not least we got the side this is what I've been personally playing but test stuff out you know we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh you gotta be creative but uh, I mean side can't be that creative but at least uh, try some text because uh, we don't really know what's gonna be going on for this next format so just try as many things as you possibly can uh, I had already like I'm already thinking about token collector because obviously he's really good against uh, sword soul uh, I was thinking about Master Restrict because it's really good against Drytron against Flunder Rees. Uh and yeah but <clears throat> so my side what I've been currently playing is 3 nib uh, he's still very good not really too much to say there to be honest uh, Drytron is still a huge problem so I'm just gonna blow them out real quick and then we're good three twin I uh, need some sort of back row destruction and this realistically is the best one being able to pitch a kit or a nerve out is just super nice at literally all times uh, next we got three judgment uh, because evenly has been getting more popular uh, just having this is really nice uh, if they have lightning storm in their deck still negate it it just this negates any blowout versus anti spell that gets like that takes care of like Harpy's Feather Dust, their Lightning Storm, and it could slow down their engine, but at the same time, I'd rather just keep my board, if possible. Then the last three is what I've been testing, 3D Barrier, uh, I think this card is really good, especially with the release of Sword Soul, uh, it's really good against Drytron, because just stop them from ritualing, or you can stop them from exceeding really just depends on you if you stop them from ritualing you're probably just getting zeused uh, and if you stop them from exceeding it's gonna be really hard to ritual without Mubeta so yeah that's the deck I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this deck's a lot of fun uh, feel free to not play Phoenix Enforcer uh, if he doesn't fit the budget uh, it's understandable to be honest uh, for Droplet you can play something like uh, Dark Ruler, although it's not as good uh, in certain manners, it still negates their board, and that's realistically the end like game of what you're trying to really do with Droplets anyways. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, make sure to check out Red Dragon and use the Moose YGO10 for 10% off your entire order. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Peace.